Hello guys, welcome back for my channel Zender My Tracks and welcome if you are new. In this video, I will show you how to make a basic translate or interpreter uh, on yourself. That means you can make uh, a translate like Google Translate, something like that, and uh, sentence to sentence. And also, you can use uh, that for word to word. That means if you say hi, for example, in English, say hello, uh, translate to Spanish, say hola, something like that. So let's start. And the language I'm using is C Sharp, and the program uh, software is Visual Studio Professional 2017. This one is very new. Uh, now click in here, new project. Wait, and in here you have uh, something uh, different option. You can choose other language, but we need because I'm using C sharp. Also, you can use another language, but you need you need has experience. Uh, sorry, you need have experience. Visual C sharp. In here, click in there. Windows Forum up. Dot net framework. Uh, now just give a name. Test translator. And uh, the algorithm for this is a uh, if statement in C sharp. We can use uh, if statement because if statement means that if I say this, you need to do this. Something like that. This is very basic. But now with this if statement we make a dictionary now a second close this one you can give a little basic design set center screen a forum test translator for example you can say the the name for example Kurdish or in English to to Kurdish or any language whatever you want uh, back to upstairs and you can to give icon mm. for example this uh, and now a second we need just one button and uh, two text box one button in here and two text box one in here and one in here uh, but before that change the background color back color a little bit usually uh, the dark color is good for eyes but if you use a different color it's ok multi line and also this one this one takes box 1 for example T1 T2 B1 ok here give little size like that and also that ok like this and little bit makes this one bigger and uh, change the font little bit uh, make bigger because this one is very small and it is not good for this situation with this uh, program you can say go translate something like that or tra just translate translate Translate. Uh, we can change the uh, color of font or okay, it's blue and so in here 16 and this one to 16. Uh, now we can also add one button. 
uh, no one uh, label you can just see about or made by the person made this for example about okay later you can just say message box something like this but now the important thing we talk about this the algorithm for this is if we click in this button after but before that if we uh, type something in here for example you say okay in here automatically when we click it on this button automatically translate and show the different text this is if statement now just double click on this button okay now just uh, say if uh, t1 dot text equal equal uh, for example hello if we say hello after this dot t2 dot text uh, plus equal uh, hello show me in Kurdish and semicolon now if we run this just for test start if we say now hello hello say Johnny back now one second if we say uh, now we cannot like sentence because one is important it is good if you study or something like that for example we say uh, I am I am playing no I play computer in here say This is my grammar, it's not exactly right, but uh, this is like that. Now, it's not important how, uh, what I do. Uh, the important thing, you cannot, uh, you know, the word to word and uh, sentence to sentence. But this takes a uh, long time for making a good, for example, 5,000 words or 5,000 sentence. It is difficult. It's not difficult if you want, but it is the algorithm for uh, do that. Also, you can make uh, advances if, uh, for example, we can say, you know, for one word, for one word, and another text box, for example, adjective. This is pronunciation like this. You know, le, you can check my channel, Zender Matrix, for another tutorial. So, Thanks for watching. If you enjoy, if you're interested in my video, don't forget to subscribe. Zander Matrix.